Alright guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to a new video and today I want to make an in-depth video on how to make uh, custom scroll bars just like this right here. I don't know why it's not okay. So just like this scroll bar that you see right here. Now I made a short video however that is uh, obviously limited uh, to 60 seconds. So here I want to go over how you can add this like custom slider um, and just basically go into more details. So yeah, firstly let's break down the basic anatomy of a scroll bar. If we go inside our scrolling frame right here, you can see if you scroll down, if we scroll down, you can see bottom image. Um, oops, you can see mid and you can also see top right here so those are the three assets that we are going to be creating in order to make our scroll bar and we could adjust the thickness and you can see that uh, also modifies the uh, shape a little bit anyways if we have a basic canvas uh, here in Photoshop if you guys don't have Photoshop um, you can use Photopea it's a, a free browser alternative um, but obviously, uh, some features are going to be there that are in Photoshop, but, uh, the middle image is very simple. It's really just a right angle, right? Um, if we take a look at the default, uh, scrolling frame, what's interesting is if we, uh, try to make the scroll bar color completely white, you can see it's not possible. Take a look here. You can see it remains gray. The reason for this is because the images, uh, default ones, are not completely white. You could actually reconstruct the uh, scroll bar yourself if we, for example, um, create something like this, right? Like so. You can export the top and bottom and middle. Uh, to have your scroll bar have the full range of uh, color values. But for us, we can obviously do a lot more than just that. So for example, if this is our middle image, how can we, uh, what can we create for the top and bottom respectively? Now, I'm just going to show you guys real quick as an example of what I mean. I'm just going to go right click and click export. Okay, so here is my asset. I'm just going to copy ID, find mid, image, and paste. Now you can see it is completely white. <clears throat> it's very simple. And uh, now we can change the color like so. But obviously the top and bottom are still uh, shaded or muted, right? So that's all cool. Let's go back. With the color white, you can modify the colors inside of Studio. You can see how that is efficient. Now, let's try to make something a lot fancier. So I'm going to copy our rectangle. And now I'm going to deviate from the uh, white or trying to keep it white um, because we actually can't add gradients, at least not that I'm aware of, uh, to scroll bars. But if you make a custom image, as you can see, um, you can add gradients uh, that are part of the image. We just can't apply it with any studio um, objects. So let's try to make our own uh, scroll bar here. I'm going to change the background color real quick. Let's go for some basic uh, design here or what have you. So I'm going to go for something darker, right? Let's try to hmm, go for inner shadow. Maybe like this, just like that. I'm going to copy a rectangle, take off the effects, and then I'm going to go for stroke, just like so. Increase the, uh, the width here. I'm blanking out, I'm sorry. I'm going to go for a more gold color, bevel, and emboss. No soft, I'm going to go for chisel hard. So we have like cool little effects. I think it's uh, too orange, so... Try to fix that. Okay. It's pretty cool. We can even add a stroke here as well. It's 
really anything just playing around right okay we have that and then I could also for example add a glow inside our scope bar right at the center I think like that that's actually pretty cool if you ask me um what else we can let's take our let's take our brush tool actually and I'm going to draw some shapes these probably are not the best but <laughs> um, it's something okay all right just give me a second I'm trying to do something interesting here oops Up here I have spent hundreds of hours making these videos and also designing products for you guys. If you are a creator who is serious about their dreams and goals in creating game projects, or if you are a creative and a designer as well, who is looking to make a career out of designing, then you will appreciate these design resources I have created. If you're building an anime inspired game, well, we have interface kits just for that. If you want a free sample, you can get the preview bundle completely for free. So if you are serious, then check it out with the link below or gfxcomment.com. If you are not serious, these are not for you and you can ignore this message. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me um, try to finish uh, this thing I got going on here. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. That's not too bad, right? Um, okay. Anyways, that's alright. <laughs> I'm gonna copy this thing, merge it. Boom. Um, let's try to... I'm gonna go soft light. Okay, I'm gonna copy once more. Hide that. Um, just so I can have a full duplicate because I'm gonna fade this thing out like this take a look that's pretty cool huh now I'm gonna copy again just so I, just so I have a backup now um hmm I want to see how uh, this looks if we change the color Look nice gold it's pretty cool right I like both actually I don't know now, let's try to make a fancy uh, top and bottom thingy. Uh, pencil. Let's cut this in half. Design here. I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, hopefully this turns out decent. Uh, let me copy. Bring this across. It's not bad. Uh, perhaps we flip this. Yeah, that is definitely better. I'd say so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, uh, let's go merge. I'm sorry for the background. There is so much background noise. Anyways, let's go like this. Go for inner glue. Does that look good? I think so. That's pretty cool. Now, um, mm, right, I'm gonna copy, copy, flip. So our scroll bar is gonna look something like this. All right. Yeah, let's just give it a, a try. So basically, group all this up. I'm gonna copy and flatten. And how we are going to export it is like this. Let me show you guys. So we're gonna grab the top right here. We're gonna go. All right, we're gonna make a new file, uh, 100 by 800. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the top part like this. And you cut right here. This will be the top, okay? You want this right here, like so, at the bottom for the top image, okay? So we're gonna go, uh, not export here. If you export here, it will crop the uh, canvas okay we're gonna go file and export quick export here so top image i'm gonna go Control t flip and this will be the bottom 
Okay, that's cool. Now, as for the metal, um, yeah, let's go ahead and the metal right here. I'm gonna go cut, like so. I'm gonna go right click here and, and export. Okay, here are my assets. Let's go ahead and check this out. <laughs> Hopefully, this works. Um, let's go middle first. Paste, as you can see. Top, right here, and bottom. Oops, my fault. <laughs> okay, now you guys can see, here is our scroll bar. It actually looks pretty good. Take a look, oops. Look at that, it's pretty cool, huh? Uh, let me put it here. Uh, where is it again? here so bottom paste middle 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 and top gotta fix the color obviously now you guys can see we have a cool scroll bar look at that it works pretty awesome huh uh, the extra background slider thingy just a frame as you can see this still looks uh, pretty good even as we continue to scale and uh, change our devices here. As for the background element here, it is a frame. So for example, uh, you can see the size and uh, X and Y. And uh, the scrolling frame, I have the Z index at two. That is gonna be important. So for example, if we add a frame here, okay. I'm just gonna use my use my plug in here. Uh, anchor, boom, boom, boom. You can really just place a frame here, okay? So I'm gonna copy corner, gradient, stroke, paste it here, right? Just make a frame, like so. And gradient, let's go for the gold so it matches. Let me adjust the color. Boom, and as you guys can see, we have a custom scroll bar, just like so. Um, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, check out our store if you want design assets, as well as premium tutorials. These videos are fun to make, but the store is how you guys can support and keep this kind of content coming. So anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.